Hey everyone, my name is Gandalin, and welcome to another World of Warcraft guide. Today, I'll be showing you how to get the Lucid Nightmare mount. This is a secret mount that you earn by figuring out a series of puzzles similar to the Riddler's Mindworm. If you don't have that one yet, check out my guide for obtaining it. As with the Mindworm, all credit for figuring out how to get the Lucid Nightmare goes to the Secret Finders Discord community. So let's jump right in. Getting this mount involves finding and clicking a series of scrolls scattered throughout the world. Most of them have some kind of puzzle you need to solve to reveal them, and there are a few doozies, so go into this with the knowledge that it could take a while. You have to click the scrolls in the order I list them here, no skipping ahead. Our adventure starts at Curiosities and Moor in Legion Dalaran. On the upper level, there is a scroll sitting on a table, which gives you this message. It begins in the 2104059, with a most pleasing sign. These letters will not always rhyme. The numbers in this clue are an anagram of the date 4152009, which was the day that Patch 3.1, Secrets of Ulduar, was released. So that's where we're headed next. Ulduar is located in the Storm Peaks of Northrend, and the best ways to get there are via the Legion Dalaran portal to Wormrest Temple, a mage portal to Northrend Dalaran, or the Argent Crusade Tabard teleport to Icecrown. Whichever one you use, you'll have to fly to Ulduar in the northern part of the Storm Peaks. Once inside, head to the Scrapyard, the room with XT002 Deconstructor. You'll probably want to kill the boss before doing anything else, just so he doesn't get in your way. Go to the northwest corner of the room, and you'll see a rusty lever on top of a pile of scrap. When you pull it, a 20 by 20 grid of scrapyard lights will appear on the floor of the room. You can turn each individual one on or off. The solution to this puzzle is to make a gear, the symbol of Mimiron, the most intellectual keeper. Here are two different diagrams for you to reference as you turn the lights on. In the first one, all the green squares have to be turned on. In the second one, all the black squares have to be turned on. When you complete the gear, the second scroll will appear at the center. It says, A thousand years imprisoned, surely it wears on the mind. This is a reference to the old god C'Thun, meaning that our next stop is the Temple of Ankaraj in Silithus. The best way to get there is to take the Cataclysm portal to Uldum from Stormwind or Orgrimmar, and then fly to the raid entrance in southern Silithus. Once you get there, you'll have to go all the way to the end of the instance. There's a room past C'Thun's that will have a small altar at the top of a staircase. On the altar will be a mind larva. When you click on it, you'll see an old god-themed jewel craft minigame in front of your character. Zoom the camera into first person to see it better. In order to win, you need to match five brains in a row. It's possible to get stuck and not have any moves left. If that happens, right-click off the buff that gives you the game and click on the mind larva to try again. Once you win, the new scroll will appear next to the Mind Larva. It says, Deeper than deep awaits your seat. This is a fairly obvious reference to Deep Home, but before you go there, you're going to want to save yourself some time and pick up a Shadow Weave mask, either from the auction house or by making one using tailoring. Then use the Cataclysm portal in Stormwind or Orgrimmar to get to Deep Home. Once there, head to the Crumbling Depths, just south of Therizane's throne. Go into the cave and past the worm that moves in circles. You'll see a fissure on the ground that you can click on. It will give you a warning message that you may not be able to get out. Make sure you have your Shadow Weave mask on before you hit accept. You fall into a cavern where you'll find a chair with a plaque that reads Supremacy, Get Shirk Eek. What seems like gibberish is actually an anagram for Raxum Greep is the key. 
This is an NPC located in Ratchet that's wearing a Shadow Weave mask, hence giving you the clue that you need one. Interacting with the skull on the chair while having the mask equipped will make the new scroll appear. Relog if you have trouble clicking on the skull. The scroll reads, where the shaded delegate may appear. This scroll references a rare spawn in Nomergon called the Dark Iron Ambassador. Use your hearthstone or a portal to escape the fissure. Alliance players should port to Ironforge and fly west, and Horde players should take the Zeppelin from Orgrimmar to Gromgol base camp and then use the teleporter there to reach Nomergon. You can only use the teleporter if you've completed the Rig Wars quest. Nomer is like a maze, so I'll walk you through where to go. When you first zone in, follow the hallway until you reach the big open area called the Hall of Gears. Use the box of extra parachutes to slow your fall as you jump off the ledge. Once you're down in the pit, head through the archway to the west. Follow that hallway until you reach another large open area called the Launch Bay. Don't jump down, but instead turn left. Follow the path and make another left into a smaller hallway. Follow this hallway as it winds down and around. When you reach the bottom, head straight a little bit until you see ten consoles along the wall to your left. The instruction plaque is written in what appears to be binary code. The solution to this puzzle is rather involved, but basically the numbers refer to a set of battle pet abilities, whose damage values, when modified by the last two lines of the instructions, give you the numbers to enter in the consoles. From left to right, 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, 7, 6, 5, 9, 7. If you want to see the whole solution, check out Blizzard's explanation at the link in the description. When all the consoles are set, the next note appears, saying, Games and toys are left behind when you awaken screaming. This is a reference to the Emerald Nightmare, so our next stop is Valshara. In the eastern part of the zone, in a house in Ashtaran, you'll find a Nightmare Tumor. Clicking it will bring up another minigame, this time similar to Blingtron's circuit design tutorial. It consists of several shapes that are tangled, with the goal being to untangle them by swapping pairs of eyeballs. This puzzle is random each time, so there's no one solution. Just keep swapping eyes until all the lines turn blue. When you've been successful, the next scroll appears on the floor and says, What you seek is buried within. This refers to the Tomb of Secrets in Kunlai Summit. Head back to Dalaran and take the portal to the Vale of Eternal Blossoms, and then fly north. Once inside the tomb, you'll find an urn you can click on. It will show you a warning that you are about to consume the ashes of an evil sorcerer, but you haven't come this far to be stopped, so click Accept. You will be transported into the Endless Halls. This can be the most difficult puzzle to solve. It is a maze laid out on an 8x8 grid. Each room has between 1 and 4 exits in the cardinal directions, meaning north, south, east, or west. Some exits are blocked by rubble. Each player's maze is different, and it changes if you come back another day. The goal is to locate 5 orbs of different colors and carry them one at a time to their matching color rune. This sounds simple, but there are several mechanics that make it anything but. Here is an example of what a maze can look like. First thing to note is that rooms with four exits are actually non-intersecting cross rooms. These are two different rooms that occupy the same place on the map, but don't intersect. Think of it like going over or under the other path without realizing it. Figuring out when you're in one of these is important, and luckily they can never contain any runes or orbs. The next trick is the edge of the map. They loop back on each other, but with the offset you see in this image. 
The edge connections are always the same, so the best way to deal with this is to frequently backtrack until you realize where the walls are. Finally, there's the teleportation trap. When you enter this room, you are instead secretly transported to a random room in the maze. The only way to know for certain if you hit this room is if the room you entered has rubble in the direction you came from. Once you've figured out which room this is, avoid it at all costs. Most people have to draw out maps to keep from getting lost. It will probably take several iterations before you determine the entire layout of the map. Additionally, you should never pick up any of the orbs until you're certain you can find them all, since that would remove your only landmarks in the maze. I'll put some links to other explanations of the maze in the description if you need some more help. Also, these are what my versions of the maze looked like. I had to go through six versions before I finally figured it all out. I got lucky with the teleportation trap and I identified it right away, so I was able to avoid it. But I did have some trouble figuring out the edges. At a certain point, I encountered a room that wasn't consistent with the rest of my map, which clued me into the fact that I had encountered the edge at some point and had to redraw my map so that that room could work. Don't lose heart if you get stuck, just keep trying. Once you've brought the fifth orb to its corresponding rune, travel through any exit and you'll be taken to a golden room that contains the final scroll. It says, the way is now open to the greatest secret never told, a fitting end to your journey. This is a reference to the forgotten crypts in Karazhan. This area has been in the game since the initial launch, but was blocked off and never utilized until now. Use the portal to Karazhan in Dalaran's Chamber of the Guardian. Behind the tower is the entrance to the crypts. Note that if you are on an artifact quest that uses this area, you'll have to complete or abandon the quest to be in the correct phase. The area is massive and also a bit of a maze, so here are some directions. Go down the stairs and continue straight past the fell altar on your left. Continue down the hallway called Pauper's Walk until you can turn right into another hallway. Continue moving downward until you can make a left into a third hallway. At the bottom, you'll see a large area with several mounds. Head straight across and veer to the left. Go into the water, swim straight down, and turn around. You'll see an opening near the floor that leads to another chamber. After you surface, turn left and then right, and you'll see the puzzler's desire on a pile of bones in the pit of criminals. Inside it, you'll find the lucid nightmare. This mount is a count bound, so you only have to go through all of this craziness on one tune, and the rest of your tunes will be able to use the mount. And that's how you get the Lucid Nightmare. It's totally bonkers, but the best secret they've done so far. If you liked this guide, give it a thumbs up to let me know. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions, or if there's something you want me to cover. Check the link in the description to follow me on Twitter. And of course, subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell so you'll get notified when I post a new video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.